I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? They're used as synonyms, though, so... Interesting. Extra dialogue. in Wonderland. Of course. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. Dad got mad at the android and beat it up. For some reason. It tore my arm off. Oh, this game looks fucking amazing, though. What are you doing? I I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. I think your dad's a lowlife. Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job? Take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you.
Enrage Todd. Clean Todd's room, clean Alice's room, ventilate it, discover a way down. Ninety-eight percent get the key. Night only. Who gets the key and doesn't open the box? <laughs> I don't think we found out this guy's name yet. I want to say his name is Hormel. Like the chili. Marcus, okay. We're pretty close. I was. Like the chili. Hormel turkey chili. Kinda neat, I got a face. Uh oh. oh. I was like, eat it? Oh wait, so that means that there probably are dogs. If there's birds, yeah, there's probably uh, android doggies. I'll take six. <laughs> I mean, if you don't have to feed them and they're not going to poop anywhere, then why wouldn't you take six? Didn't it say wake Carl upstairs? Yeah. Poop on the rug. Oh my god. That's not my style. Just That's it. Well, this guy's eccentric. Can I jump over the banister? <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> from from Toys R Us. Well. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep him going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. 
Just some demonstrators in the streetcar. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. That is Admiral... Um, big Boss Admiral from Mass Effect. Not, not Anderson, but... Hackett? Hackett. That's Admiral Hackett. <laughs> Mass Effect! <laughs> I love it. Mass Effect so good. And drop. I guess you could if I let go. Kahoku? No, no, no. Kahoku's dead. Spoilers. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? Get ready. No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Well, there was stuff down here. I have to do breakfast first. Sorry, Carl. I got distracted. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Mm, sure. Mm? Okay, Carl.
things get out of control. Television off. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. Fancy game of chess? Sure, yeah. Speed chess. Speed chess it is. That is a very odd draw. <laughs> well, maybe you just played better. You don't lie as good as you play chess. We both know. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm no match for you. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. this guy. He's eccentric, but he's nice. Whee! <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to go this way. Sorry, Carl. There was oil on the floor. I don't know. Whoa! Oh, God. Let's see where <laughs> we left off. Remove the sheet. What do I call that plate hemisphere that covered the food to make it look fancy? A lid? I don't know. sculptor as well. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. 
The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? What would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me.
Activate the birds, there were a couple other things. Carl notices Marcus's clothes. Play chess. Only 25% of people did that. That must be the least one. Draw. Copy the desk. Yeah, copy his painting seemed like the worst idea. Yeah. Paint from the heart. Identity. Doubts. That's what I would have chosen. Yeah. Because it was all like, androids, no. Humanity, no. Myself. And then it's like, myself, do you want to paint about androids, despair, doubts, or being a prisoner? Honestly, I was between doubts and prisoner. But I went with doubts, because it felt right. Leo intruded to ask for money. So it seems like identity doubts was the most common because identity was 57% and then doubts was 26. No androids. And Jimmy of Jimmy's bar. Dempsey. Derek Myers. Yeah, I love this guy. This guy's yeah. a great actor, dude. coming out. The fuck you looking Lieutenant at? Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. 
It'll make life easier for both of us. <laughs> I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. You wait here. I won't be long. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant had paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell. even worse before we open the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ort. Oh my god. Jeez. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was... Red sand. Red ice. Red sand. Kind of a <laughs> That's Mass Effect. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Stayed easy and wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. No, f no fingerprints I'd on the say knife. He's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a dried blood, Kitchen Carlos knife Ortiz. Over here, probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? No. So there was a knife on the floor, and it had no fingerprints on it, and it said Android involvement? I didn't know which one you wanted, so I bought both. You can have both. Well, crap, if you're going to bring me two drinks, okay. who am I going to turn down? <laughs> Hold on. We're getting drunk. Says the guy who never drinks. <laughs> The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we... We know about his android. Got my... Much? The neighbors confirmed... He had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. 
I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Traces of Ethereum. Deviant took a knife. Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. Bam. Bam. Deviant grabbed a knife. Slashed him. Excuse me. Excuse me. like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked a party. Chris, I want full analysis on, on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Obsessive writing. Finish taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. Oh my god. Hey, what's up, Eagles? Carlos Ortiz? this game? I'm liking it so far myself. Twenty-eight knife wounds. Dead for 19 days. Stabbed. They came from the kitchen. It's 
stab, fell, crawl, lapse, stab, 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 stab. Whoa, hold on. Look at that. Normal speed. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Oh my god. Brutal. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. I am alive. Regular letters font is cyber life. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android... with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room. And he tried to get away from the android. Alright, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim... ...with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Search for traces of blue blood. Obviously gonna be some in the kitchen. shaders that loaded were really paying off. Yeah, the game looks freaking amazing. So coming in here. He gets all stab happy. There's nothing leading away. So he must have followed the same path on return. Which is where we get the alternate path to the left here.
android came to the altar after bleeding. Interesting. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Check something. Hello, fellow android. be just a mannequin or something. You're scared? He's an android. He's gonna be fine. Poops a little. A lot of blood here. Oh, I see his head. Hello. I'll be honest, if they had given me the option, I would have turned him in. Yeah. Yeah. If it had been like, do you want to turn him in or do you want to let him, like, leave? I'd have been all like, turn him in. Buy him another drink. <laughs> yeah, it's the smart thing. We've all seen cop dramas. You, yeah. got, you got to get the guy a little louvered up. There's a few things I did not find. Something in the shower I did not find, which led to a couple of other things. But the, the vast majority read about android sex. Hot. Yeah! <laughs> That's my wife, everybody. She and I were both like, hot. Connor knows what happens. This also could lead to Connor has no idea, which leads to... Like you don't find it you don't find the deviant. Yeah. Report to Lieutenant Anderson. Reconstruct the crime, find the deviant. Ninety six percent find the deviant. Holy crap. Four percent let him either let him go or don't find him. I guess maybe you could leave the attic without having found anything. Mm -hmm. Air quotes maybe. Just a side note to get everybody hyped for this, but we, I have also downloaded and installed L.A. Noir, so we're going to eventually play that as well. Yeah. L.A. Noiri. 
Todd. Oh. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Ooh, spaghetti. Spaghetti, yeah. I love spaghetti. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. We had pasta for dinner, too. We had pesto. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. Then when I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house, what do I do? I go out and hire fucking android. What a joke. <sighs> of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They're never tired. They're sad. They're so fucking perfect, they ruin my fucking life. Life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Fucking brat. It's all her fault. It's all her fucking fault.
back here! To obey me! You're mine. God, yeah, so look at here. all these paths! Oh my god! Kara oh. becomes deviant. Go upstairs. Oh wait, let's look at percentages here. <laughs> 90s! Yeah, we're like, fuck it, we're going upstairs. Go get Alice before Todd. Run away. Hide in the corridor. Not a lot of people. Yeah. You'll say this, you've never got the path I, got, I just got. Todd realizes Kara and Alice are gone. Try the front door. Open the front door. Three percent! Yeah, this is apparently a very... <laughs> this is a very normal. rare occurrence. Yeah. Catch the bus. Kara and Alice evaded Todd on the bus 9%. Run to the bus 9. Catch the bus. Only 9% of those people got that. So that means 91% of the people missed the bus. Which, yeah, because Which then another... leads to probably getting caught by Todd. If I had to guess. Holy crap. That's chose, amazing. Chose something very rare, which is nice. It's heroin, though, right? Oh. I know this is going to be yeah. short, but I think it's a good time to stop yeah. tonight. Although I want to say I agree with what Trika said, because that was my literal first thought was go through the window with the little girl. Yeah, I think the problem with the problem with that one is it, it 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 immediately like pushed me out of the room, so I would have had to turn around and go back into the room, and yeah. I I was already in panic mode. Well, I think because one of the options was lock the door. Yeah. So, so I would have had to lock, lock the door, door and then go out the window. Right. But so far, this is. Oh this man, is this is good really so far, good. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm starting stopping a little early. I'm I'm feeling my my tummy is giving me problems. Aww. So I'm gonna go take care of that. But <laughs> thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I very much appreciate it. And I will at what day is tomorrow? Thursday. But since we took Tuesday off, I said you should play Thursday. I will normally I won't play on Thursdays because I want to get back into crit roll day. But I will be playing this again tomorrow. Because this is really good and I want to keep going. <laughs>